presents Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, read by Peter Coyote. Beginner's Mind. People say that practicing Zen is difficult, but there's a misunderstanding as to why. It's not difficult because it is hard to sit in the cross-legged position or to attain enlightenment. It is difficult because it is hard to keep our mind pure and our practice pure in its fundamental sense. The Zen school developed in many ways after it was established in China, but at the same time it became more and more impure. But I do not want to talk about Chinese Zen or the history of Zen. I'm interested in helping you keep your practice from becoming impure. In Japan, we have the phrase shoshin, which means beginner's mind. The goal of practice is always to keep our beginner's mind. Suppose you recite the Prajna Paramita Sutra only once. It might be a very good recitation. But what would happen to you if you recited it twice, three times, four times or more? You might easily lose your original attitude towards it. The same thing will happen in your other Zen practices. For a while, you will keep your beginner's mind. But if you continue to practice one, two, three years or more, although you may improve some, you're liable to lose the limitless meaning of original mind. For Zen students, the most important thing is not to be dualistic. Our original mind includes everything within itself. It is always rich and sufficient within itself. You should not lose your self-sufficient state of mind. This does not mean a closed mind, but actually an empty mind and a ready mind. If your mind is empty, it is always ready for anything. It is open to everything. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few. If you discriminate too much, you limit yourself. If you are too demanding or too greedy, your mind is not rich and self-sufficient. If we lose our original self-sufficient mind, we will lose all precepts. When your mind becomes demanding, when you long for something, you will end up violating your own precepts, not to tell lies, not to steal, not to kill, not to be immoral, and so forth. If you keep your original mind, the precepts will keep themselves. In the beginner's mind, there is no thought, I have attained something. All self-centered thoughts limit our vast mind. Audio literature no presents Zen no Mind, self. Beginner's Mind, yeah, beginners. read by and Peter Coyote. Learn something. The beginner's mind is the mind of compassion. When our mind is compassionate, it is boundless. Beginner's Mind, Bogen Zenji, the founder of our school, always emphasized that practicing Zen is to resume our boundless but there's original understanding mind. as to why. Then we are always true to ourselves. It's not in difficult because it's hard to sit in the cross like precious or to attain enlightenment. So the most difficult it's thing difficult is always because to keep it is hard to keep our mind, mind, mind pure and our personal no pure to have a fundamental deep understanding of Zen. Audio in literature school in many ways after it was established in China. Skinner's mind at the same time by Peter Coyote. Or I have a new one talk about Chinese Zen. This is also the real secret of the Chinese Zen.